Hi, my name's Susie Mathers. I play Glinda in the hit Broadway musical Wicked, and I'm having tea with Wilma. Hi guys, I am backstage at the Apollo Victoria Theatre where Wicked is currently playing and if you can't guess whose dressing room I'm in, um, I can see her coming in now by bubble, it's Susie Mathers. Hello! Hi, how's Hi. it going? Good, thank you, how are you? I'm good, how have you been? Very well, very, very well. Now, is it, I know we've spoken about this before, mm -hmm. is it longest worldwide serving Glinda, do we know? To be honest, one I don't off. know. Probably Must one be off. one off, because um, you did Australia and then the Asia tour, mm -hmm. and now London. Yes. Uh, Broadway next? Who knows? <laughs> uh, I mean, look, I'd love to, but you know, those things are total dreams and we'll just see. Who knows? You, one you day. Have, you have to do the complete package now that you've I, look, it. I would, to be honest, I'd absolutely love to. It would be a full circle, yeah. you know, from the ground up of, yeah. of, of Glinda, but um, you know, it's, it's a bit more difficult there than it was for me here. You know, I was born in the UK, so yeah. coming back here, you know, visa-wise and work-wise was a lot easier. Yeah. So was it always, because I know we met, what was it, three, four years ago you came here? We met three years ago. So okay. um, I had finished up with the Australian tour in Manila in yeah. 2015, uh, sorry, 2014. Um, and I moved over here, I packed up my whole life and moved to London to work on the West End. It was always a dream of mine. Was Wicked always something you were hoping maybe would fall into place? Absolutely, once you got here? yeah. Um, it wasn't something I was initially hoping to fall into place. You know, I was quite excited about the opportunities that you can get here in the UK, yeah. especially in London. And um, so, yeah, I, I wanted to work on the West End and started auditioning. And then I got a phone call uh, asking me to go back to Australia to cover for six months. Yes. Yeah. Um, so technically I moved here three years ago, but I only was, you know, I was here for a few months, went back home and then came back again. So okay. it'll be two years this July. Yeah. Now, something that everyone always wants to know mm -hmm. is how audiences differ around the world. And I guess you're in a good position, the fact you've seen, you know, the London and then the Australia, which I guess are probably a bit similar, but I guess yeah. Asia's probably quite different. How do they compare? Um, you're right. Look, every audience is completely different. Um, I started with Australian audiences who had not really heard of the show much. Um, and as the, the tours went on, you could see the fan base grow. Um, Aussies are... A little more reserved, um, you know, yes, we would get standing ovations sometimes, but it's not something that we as a culture kind of tend to do as much. Um, so yeah, the Aussies of course loved the show as does everybody worldwide, but it wasn't a, a huge reaction. Um, here in London, we have standing ovations every every night, mm. every single night. You know, there, there hasn't been a night that I haven't performed with this wonderful cast that we haven't had such an amazing reaction from the audience. Same kind of went for uh, the Philippines and for Manila, um, uh, sorry, and for South Korea. Uh, We've been there quite reserved. Yeah, to quiet. be honest, that's what we thought going okay. to Korea. And it wasn't... When we went to Korea, we were like, oh, it's going to be really quiet. And, you know, culturally, they are quite reserved. And But it was the exact opposite. We had laughs in places we never had laughs in before. They were, you know, and we did it in English with Korean subtitles. So, right. um, you know, there were points where obviously they were, they were seeing the gag before it happened. And so they would, you know, laugh in different spots. But right. it was huge rapturous applause every night, laughs that we never expected. It was one of the most fun seasons I, I've had with the show. So as someone that's been in this so long, mm -hmm. I'm sure you have the spiel down. What's it all about? I can't believe there's anyone in the world that hasn't <laughs> seen Wicked. Um, but if anyone hasn't, what's it all about? Uh, look, what it is, it's the untold story of The Witches of Oz. So, you know, you don't have to have seen The Wizard of Oz to appreciate the show, but it is definitely a nice basic knowledge of the show. And basically, you take the camera and you go from The Wizard of Oz and you move left. Mm -hmm. So it's what happened before Dorothy dropped in, how the girls became good and wicked, yeah. um, how what happened to them during school influenced how people view them. Um, and you know, it's got some clever secrets in there as well. But it is basically just a story about friendship um, that everybody can relate to. It's that that friendship that you have with someone that knows no bounds mm -hmm. no matter what they do you still feel for them and want to help them and um i mean come on she runs away with my boyfriend yeah but i still you know when her sister dies i'm, I'm there for her and it's that 
friendship. It's that friend, that real friendship, you know. And around all of that, you have the political stuff, mm -hmm. and and um, also the not judging a book by its cover, yeah. and and kind of looking at people for who they are and not the colour of their skin. Or, yeah. Yeah. The thing I love about it is, I mean, I've seen it more times than I care to imagine, <laughs> and. Um, Every time you come, you see something different. My mum says that. <laughs> you see another, all of a sudden you'll go, I mean, I'm talking more than 30 times, mm. I think. And still now, things can happen, or you see different people in yeah. playing the roles, and you're like, I've never seen it that way. I've never thought of it like that. Look, to be honest, playing the role, things like that happen all the time. You know, you are in the middle of a scene, and you give it a different reading, and all of a sudden it... It, it makes sense in another way that you hadn't explored before. Mm. That is the joy of coming back to a role. Um, for me, I've been very lucky that I've revisited this role so many times, but every time I have, I've had kind of six months, ten months off in between, and during that time, I've lived, I've travelled, I've yeah. had different experiences, you know, heartache, I've, I've fallen in love, like there's all these kind of things that have happened, which then when you come back into a role like this, you then read it differently, yeah. you experience it differently. And I think audiences as well, with their own life, come and view the show and see things differently with what's going on with them. And that's the magic of theatre. It's true, it's yeah. so true. Now, something I'm, I know you'll get asked all the time, because everyone <laughs> yeah. gets asked it, but still when I say on like social media, you know, what things we want to know, everyone always wants to know about on-stage mishaps. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm sure they've heard them all before. So not necessarily from this show or this production, yeah. but is there anything maybe you haven't told a million times that, you know, anything funny that happens? <laughs> no, I've had a lot of funny, I mean, of course, having been involved in the show for a long time, a lot of things have happened. Um, I've thrown my wand into the pit. I was there once. You were there? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I have sung, thank goodness, holding up my skirt because a thread has come undone on my costume and it was falling down. So um, I think I heard from the front row, oh my god, her skirt's falling down, mm. and then realised that my skirt was falling down. Um, I've fallen over, I was in Korea, running on the courtyard, and I tripped, and literally went flying down the front. Tripped, I think I tripped on my own feet, to be honest. Flying down the front, I rolled, I landed on the bottom cog with my feet in the orchestra pit, the whole audience. <gasps> but I love that. I love that that stuff happens yeah. because you stand up straight away and the adrenaline's going and or you get on with the scene and all of a sudden you're in a different place and that is how amazing live theatre is. It's not just a hit play and you get to see the same thing over and over again. I think that's why the fans come back so yeah. much because every show is completely different. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think they're probably my main, the main things that have happened. Apart from the two main characters, Glinda and yeah. Elphaba, if you could play another character, or just, you know, what's your favourite character apart from... So mine, I think the, the best role, apart from the two main ones, mm -hmm. is Nessa Rose. I think she gets all the best musical kind of melodies. Yeah. And she gets to sit down for most of it. <laughs> so I would go for <laughs> Nessa does. Rose. Um, who would you... What's your favourite role? Um, I'd love down the track, you know, realistically-wise, to give Morrible a crack. Mm. I think she is so complex as a character. Um, yeah, yeah, there's so much going on for her. She turns so much throughout the show. Um, and I think there, there can be a tendency to see her as just, you know, the evil person that, that, that sets Elphaba up. But actually, she's got ambition and she's got drive. And because of all of that, she turns the way that she does. Um, so I think she'd be very interesting to explore. Actually, once upon a time, when I returned to the show, um, I was the midwife for nine months. Right. Um, and I was also understudying Glinda, and they asked me if I would look at understudying Morrible. And okay. I considered it for a brief second. <laughs> and then I was like, actually, I'm five foot. And yeah. at the moment, the whole company are not going to be able to stop laughing at me if I come on into that character. So I'll wait till I'm age appropriate. <laughs> so thank you so much for talking to me today. It's always lovely to see you. Come and see Susie in Wicked at the Apollo Victoria Theatre. It's currently booking until the 26th of May 2018. I will put a link in the description below to where you can buy tickets. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave a comment for me or Susie. I'm more than happy to pass them on. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.